Yes, there is a brand new bike path to the Portland airport. I got a chance to look at it a few days ago, so come along with me for a closer look. I hopped on the path near the intersection of 82nd Avenue and Northeast Cargo Road. It's not a very great intersection, and I'll get back to that in a sec. Here's the old way that you would go. You'd have to cross this 82nd Avenue Airport Way intersection, which was really tough. So back on track here, I used the crosswalk signal to cross northwest over 82nd Avenue. It's a real bummer that it's not, the path isn't better connected. This intersection is really stressful, and the sidewalk isn't much better. There's no signage telling anybody that this is a major bikeway. As you saw, there's wide, busy driveways because there's lots of fast food outlets and then just as the path starts you've got to cross another street which happens to be the main access point for the cell phone waiting area and the ride share uh, waiting area so it's pretty busy so finally I was able to find the start of the path and I knew I was in the right place and I could take a deep breath when I saw the bikeway signage saying PDX terminal there uh, the first section is separated through a standard curb as you can see here, uh, keep in mind this is a bi-directional facility, so uh, the idea is that there will be bike traffic coming in both directions. It seems adequately wide, although I didn't have anyone else out there uh, to really judge what opposing bike traffic would feel like. This is a really low volume road. This mostly just goes to some industrial uh, places related to the airport. Uh, and then the next section is above grade, so you lose that curb separation, but you're sort of raised up at the, at the curb level. It's also fun because you are at this point right next to the max red line, uh, which is pretty fun if you're a train nerd or not. I loved having the max come right by me as I rode by. One little note of caution, there's an ungated crossing of two uh, light rail tracks here that you're going to have to stay aware of, listen for the audible warnings and that sort of thing. Uh, and then once you cross that, you're kind of on your last section of the path, which is the nicest section by far. There's a lot of cool vegetation planted. There's this nice little uh, grove of trees here. I don't know, you could even picnic in that grass over there. And as you can see, as I'm headed into the terminal, uh, on one side of me, there's these beautiful trees and grass and planted area. And on the other side, there is the max tracks and airport runways and, and big jets and all sorts of stuff. So lots of fun things to look at. One way I judge bike facilities is how interesting they are and if there's anything cool to do or see. And this one certainly passes the interesting test. A quick shot here of what's separating you, these heavy duty steel posts and cables. And the bike path really nicely. I felt like this was a little slice of what you might see in Europe. The path uh, ends right at the MAC station and there's signage here to get you over to the terminal. Look how close the end of the path is to some bike parking and an entrance to the terminal. Uh, they have this listed as bike storage. Uh, a couple corrals here. I was happy to see them uh, with actual bikes and people riding to the airport. I think most of these are airport employees, so keep in mind this isn't necessarily a place where people are hopping on an airplane, leaving their bike for multiple days. If you were to park at the airport and wanted to hop on your bike and get home, you would just roll right back over, and here's the path. Shoot, you could even hop on the Max if you wanted to. I just love how they're both next there. It's sort of like choose your fighter, good to have options. Headed back, there's a the beautiful Welcome to Oregon sign, and what better way to welcome yourself to Portland than a nice view of Mount Hood on a bike path. So it's a really nice facility. Uh, kudos to the Port of Portland and TriMet for making this happen through their big Better Red uh, max light rail improvement project. One final note I wanted to mention here is when you're coming back, there's this lane that enters in from Airport Way to Northeast Cargo Road that folks are going to have to be aware of. You're going to have to check your shoulder because there are uh, cars and there are drivers who are going to be turning over the bike path. And then I just wanted to show how, again, how it connects back up into this area. It's really unfortunate uh, that it connects on this sidewalk. There's a better alignment that stays on the tracks for longer, and I'm inquiring at the port to see if they're going to ultimately uh, make the path stay along the max tracks all the way over to 82nd, so you'd have a better connection directly over to, like, the Cascade Station area. Anyway, more to come. There's other projects that are going to make biking to the airport even better in the coming years, so stay tuned, and thanks for watching.